Hi everyone, have you ever had to make a really important decision but there are so many different factors that you just can't get your head around them all in order to make a quick decision? Well one of the best things to do in this situation is to create a multi-criteria decision chart or do multi-criteria decision analysis and that is when we have a few different options to choose from then there are different criteria that you're weighing against and you simply rate each one from one to five according to the value to yourself and then all of those get averaged in order to to um, find the highest ranking one. For example, if we were looking for a house and let's say we've got house one and maybe there's you know house two, maybe you've got three or four different houses that you're looking to move into or rent or to buy or something similar. And the different criteria you might be looking at might be maybe it's close to schools. Maybe it's also close to work. Maybe it's easy access to public transport. Maybe it's got a really good price. And another thing might be a lots of room. Now we can rate each of these criteria from one to five. Maybe house one is not very close to the schools, not very close to work, but it's got a lot of room and maybe the price is really good. So we're gonna rank that quite highly and maybe it's close to public transport as well. Now all of a sudden you can see that these are ranking them from one to five and averaging them out. And now using all of that criteria, we can easily make our decision. We're gonna show you how to create this sheet today and it's gonna be a whole bunch of fun. Let's get into it. Now, as always, we're just going to start with the coloring and the framing of our sheet, and we might speed this up ever so slightly just so we can get into the really good stuff of creating the multi-criteria decision chart itself. At the top of our sheet, let's put the decision objective. So that's the decision that we are trying to make. And if we just put that over here, maybe color that white, and then we're going to give ourselves a little section for, for us to fill in our decision objective for the entire decision here. Also, we're just going to put a little bit of instruction right at the top of the sheet where we're saying rate each option from five, which is the best, to one, which is the worst, according to the value to ourselves. Uh, and that way we can use the total or the average at the end to make our decision. Now we can start filling out the multi-criteria table and all of the details within it. For our heading row, let's give that a nice sandy color. And just continuing with our theme, let's give ourselves a nice light blue, a nice turquoise. And for that, Let's make uh, the white text here. And this is the criteria that we're going to be looking at. If we put that in the middle and over to the right, then just increase the indent ever so slightly. And if we say criteria one, and if we drag that all the way down, then Excel will do the rest of the work for us. This is our criteria column. We'll just increase the size of that and make it a, a nice dark gray, just so that fits nicely within the theme. And now we're starting to look quite nice. Now we can also set up the borders around our table. And to do that, we're going to select our entire sheet and we're going to do that in just a few different stages. First of all, let's put some thick borders around each of our main sections here. Now let's select all of this area and go to more borders. And what we want to do is just, maybe we want a, a bit of a lighter gray, just a normal vertical line. And if we put that in the middle here, now we've got something to work with, but we still want some uh, horizontal lines as well. So what we're going to do is select all of these areas, go back to our more borders tool. We'll select a nice dashed line and put that in the middle. Now we can color that a little bit lighter as well. And that way that's not going to be too obtrusive. And that works for both the darkened colors and the lightened colors here too. Now for the different options that we are able to choose from. So if we have our option one, now we can drag that across as well and all the way and Excel will still do that work for us, which is really, really wonderful. If we want this to be on a bit of an angle, we can select this, right click and format our cells. And then we can actually go to alignment. Now we can put that on a slight angle or a large angle, it's up to us. But if we just put it on a slight angle, now that sort of stands out a little bit, but it's up to you if you want to do that or not. The last row right at the bottom will be the average of all of our options. And we can increase the size of that just a little bit. And now we've got something to work with. Now, what's the formula for figuring out all of these different options and the average of all of these different options? Well, what we wanna do is say equals average. And just select all of these ones that we're wanting to average out, close that down. And now that will average out any of the numbers that we put in there. But as you can see, because there are no numbers in there at the moment, it's actually giving us an error. So how do we get around that? Well, all we have to do is say, if error, open up our bracket, and the value that we're looking at is the average, 
but the value that we want if we get an error is just a blank quote, so just a, a blank space. And if we close that off, now when there's nothing in there, it's just going to give us a blank space instead of that error message. Now if we copy this and select the rest of our cells and paste the formulas only, now when we put in any numbers, one, two, three, four, five, it will average these out very nicely for us without us having to do any extra work. But we still want these to look a little bit nicer. So what we're going to do is just increase the size ever so slightly. And the same for our normal numbers as well. We'll put them in the center and put them in the middle. Maybe we'll make them a little bit of a, a lighter gray. And now they really stand out for what we're trying to do. But there's one more thing that we want to do in our multi-criteria decision chart, and that is to rank each of these ones so we really know which one is the clear winner, which one is going to stand out the most. And to do that, all we have to do is select our row, go to conditional formatting, and we can select color scales. Now these can be any, any color scales that we like, and we might just put a few more values in so that we've got uh, something to work with here. And while we're doing that, let's just change the decimal points so that we've only got two decimal points here. And you can change it to one or two or zero if you like, depending on what you prefer. But when we go into conditional formatting and if we manage that rule that we've just created, if we edit that one, now what we want to do, we're in a two color scale and we've got based on the lowest value and based on the highest value. But the colors we can do ourselves as well. Maybe we want a nice, just a white on one end and then maybe we want it to really stand out and we want it to be uh, like a dark, dark color on the high end. And you can change this to any style or any color that you want. And as you can see, it's, it's not really standing out perfectly. So maybe let's, uh, let's put it back to the percentage. And if we edit that, the lowest value and the highest value, if we change that and apply, now they stand out just a little bit more. And we can clearly see that we have option two as our winner for now, but we could add many more options and we could add many more criteria to help us make our decision. And that is a multi-criteria decision chart made in Excel. And I've had a wonderful time creating this with you today. And I hope you've enjoyed yourself as well. I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.